Hello lovely Taurus, this is Deborah, Deborah Clare Channel Guidance and this is going to be your reading for August 2020. Taurus, really interesting energies um, in meditation. I've just been hearing the word protection, okay? Someone could be protecting you, you could be protecting something that means a lot to you, whether this is your money, whether this is your home, whether this is pertaining to your kids, whether this is a relationship, you're in protection mode. And I also hear the word, hear, heard the words getting serious. Taurus, you're getting serious about protecting something or someone is protecting you. OK. That is all I've got. I think what we'll do is start the reading and just see where this takes us. But it's a very powerful energy for you, Taurus, at this time. Um, there's a no-nonsense energy to you, standing your ground, and definitely something about digging in your heels about something. You will not change your mind about something. You're not going to relent. You're not going to allow someone to do something that you feel is not right. There's a deep sense of justice. I've been seeing the justice card. You could be connected to a Libra. You could be going through some kind of legalities. You could be getting serious pertaining to signing documents. OK. So whatever this is for you, let's move into this and see where this reading takes us. All right. So Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. This is going to be the main reading for my Taurus for August 2020. Archangel Shamuel is with me. He's the Archangel that brings soulmate energies together. Archangel Sandalphon is with me too. And Archangel Azriel. Okay. Wow. We are blessed in this reading, Taurus. Okay. <laughs> Michael's been showing me the card of the Empress. Sitting firmly in your seat, Taurus, I will not be moved. I am protecting what is mine. And definitely standing your ground about something, Taurus. Um, yeah. Layers, layers, layers. Michael's saying to me, layers, layers of security. You're putting layers of security around you, Taurus. Not allowing something or someone to come through, to break those barriers down, to shift you from where you are. Interesting. Okay. Wow, guys. <laughs> and I'm hearing very strong words. I know what's right and I know what's wrong. I know what's right and I know what's wrong. Wow. The world. Now it came out sideways. Some of you, this is relating to someone at a distance. For some of you, you are on the internet. Putting some kind of security measures in place, but the world is also you stepping confidently into a new cycle. Okay. Let's put that there. All right. The world. Some of you are protecting yourself before you travel. It could be something to do with the pandemic. It could be as simple as that. Some of you are protecting a relationship. Hoping to move a connection into a new cycle rather than maybe accepting defeat in a connection or allowing someone to shift you from your empress status. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, Taurus, here goes, here goes. Yeah. Yes. I keep hearing the words, I will not be moved. I will not be moved. I know what's right and I know what's wrong. I will not be moved. I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting my family. I'm protecting my home. Yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. And I'll explain why in a moment. There might be a strong connection to a Leo. 
only because we had that particular card come out in exactly that placing in the reverse in the Leo reading. Don't know why. Um, wow, there is you. Okay. I could be connecting with someone here who is married, someone who is trying to protect their marriage, somebody who is trying to prevent someone from walking away from a marriage. This could be a marriage where there is, or there has been many years of investments. Yes, you're in fight mode, Taurus. Look at you. Wow, so strong. I'm going to fight to keep this. I'm going to fight to protect this. There's a very deep spiritual energy coming from you. You could have a very specific religion that does not, for instance, agree with divorce. And that's something that you are portraying, explaining, standing firm with a partner about. Look at that. The world has come out. The world card again. Okay, hmm. you may be connecting with someone here, Taurus, that did something to upset you. I'm going to be honest. Someone that is in your environment is looking very guilty and feels as if they've lost everything. Okay, feels as if they've lost you or are losing you. Yeah. But there's also a sense that you are connecting with someone who may be very undecided as to whether or not they want to carry on in a connection. Okay. Taurus, this may be very specific. If you're trying to fight to keep a relationship going, you're going to be successful. I'm going to tell you now, guys. Okay? If you're wanting reconciliation, if you have been scared to death that someone was heading off in another direction, you will be successful. For some of you, you are fighting in some kind of legal, legal case remember the justice card, for justice in a divorce. And once you've received that justice and you will be successful in getting justice, if that is your situation, you are then going to be swiftly moving on to be with someone else. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Underneath the deck, the chariot. Strong travel energy here, okay? Strong travel energy, could be a long distance connection. The chariot is also the energy of cancer. The chariot is also, for me, someone kind of sitting in the car thinking, you know, well, I'm in the car, everything's packed, I've got the map, I've got the sat-nav sorted. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to leave. I'm not sure if I want to stay, but I'm ready to make that decision with the chariot. I'm ready to make that decision, ready to protect what's mine, ready to get serious. Could be connecting with an air sign who didn't tell you the truth, sun, moon, rising, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or you are not communicating with someone because they have maybe tried to pressure you in some way and you are not having it. You are not having it. Wow. Underneath that, tempers in reverse, getting a bit impatient, emotions all over the place. But what have you got underneath that? Justice. Justice. Justice in a situation, Taurus. Yeah. Now, underneath that, if you're interested, three of cups, celebration, happiness, reuniting with someone or having a reason to feel really good about something. Okay. Wow. Wow. Strong energy, Taurus. Okay, let's get into this. Move, moving the camera. Okay, guys, I hope you can see the cards clearly. All right, people. So if you're ready, let's move swiftly in. We start with you feeling a bit nervous, Taurus. You're a bit nervous. Mm. You may be exuding a lot of confidence, a lot of self-esteem, a lot of 
um, I will not be moved energy. I am standing my ground. I know what's wrong and right. And I'm not going to be changing my mind. But inside, Taurus, if this is your story, if you feel that you're resonating with this, you are very, very nervous. Fearful that things aren't going to go your way. Fearful of making change in your life. But you are holding your head high and you are exuding this confidence that you may not feel inside. This is a situation that you have been weighing up in your mind for quite a while. If this is a long-term relationship, several months, maybe maybe two or three years. What do I do about this? Terrified of making change. I'm standing my ground, but I know what I feel is the right thing to do. Very strong energy from you, Taurus. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, you have been fearful, I think, about making a choice to change the status of a connection. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, this is you nervous that someone is preparing to walk away from you. Or this could be you very scared about making the decision to leave a connection. For some of you, this is literally preparation. And I'm hearing preparation for the new. Preparation to move forward once you have received justice. Getting yourself grounded, thinking very seriously about your next steps before making that decision. I did see the Empress card, which could represent that this is a female Taurus I'm connecting with, but for you guys out there, this could be the energy of a karmic partner that you are standing your ground against. Could be to do with some kind of legal case. I'm definitely feeling that with the Justice card, Four of Wands in reverse, Eight of Pentacles, very bored in a connection, and the Marriage card, okay, for me. In the past, with the Knight of Cups, there was a sense of discontent. Things aren't moving forward. I'm not feeling very successful in the relationship. There's no romance, there's no love, there's nothing given to me. I'm not feeling as if this mo this relationship <clears throat> is going to last. And there could be a situation with no communication from someone. My throat just closed up. Could be connecting to a Pisces Cancer Scorpio who kind of was a bit of a player. Messed around with other people. And you had been considering maybe moving forward and making changes in your connection. Either to cut free of this person or this person messed around, you found out about it, and they admitted it. And they have asked you for a divorce, for instance, or to move out of the house, whatever your situation is. Same sex, could be anything. After this Knight of Cups energy, either you feeling discontent, my relationship isn't going anywhere, I'm not feeling I'm getting the, the love and connection that I'm really wanting. Things have kind of plateaued out or dealing with a partner who was a bit of um, a ladies' man, should we say. Could be um, also for you Taurus guys, maybe a female who wasn't happy in the relationship and you know that she had an affair. Whatever this is for you. You decided after that time with a fall in reverse not to do anything risky. I don't think I want to make changes yet. I'm going to see if things calm down, if the water calms down. Let's let the dust settle. Let's calm the emotions. Let's just give this a bit more time. You could have been connecting to an Aries. Who you realised wasn't as in the connection as you were. Wasn't as serious about the relationship as you were. And maybe held a bit of fly-by-night energy. They might have been very emotionally unbalanced Taurus. Because they were found out. And they didn't know what you would plan to do about that. Whether you would say to them, okay, well, I'm not happy. We found out what you've done, but I want to keep this relationship on track. Or whether or not you would turn around and say, I'm sorry, you're moving out. I'm sorry, we are heading to a divorce. What you're thinking about, Taurus, right now is your own stability, 
maybe your own religion okay issues around that your relationship because you are thinking about the hierophant could be all of those things your own energy okay beautiful coming through in your own reading this is you thinking about a long-term marriage this is you thinking about a long-term living together situation this is you thinking about your spirituality religion and again i might be connecting with a taurus who has a deep spiritual um, energy to them or has a deep faith and maybe feeling that because of their faith, there would be some restrictions in making changes. That's what I'm feeling. So Archangel Michael, we have the Five of Swords in the immediate future for my Taurus. When is that energy coming through, please, Michael? Thank you. Michael telling, Michael's telling me it's ongoing. This is ongoing. Do we have any specifics, Michael? Third week of August, specifically, third week of August, something might come to a head, okay? I do feel that this is a conversation with a partner that you, Taurus, have been standing your ground with about potentially ending a connection. Five of Swords, and I'm hearing the word judge, judge. You could be judging this person. You could be making a judgment call. You could be actually talking to a judge about a legal case, a lawyer, maybe of some sort. Five of Swords is you fighting for freedom fighting for what you feel is right it can be a little bit of a harsh energy it can be a little bit of i'm going to get what i want to get type of energy it may be that you feel angry upset and hurt and because of that you are determined to get everything that you can out of a situation maybe tinge of revenge i've got to admit but the five of swords is you fighting to get what you want you're not backing down, you're standing your ground. And I keep getting the words, I will not be moved. I'm not making changes to this. I want what I want, I want what I want, right? In contrast, whoever you are battling against, and I feel it is a partner, they're looking really guilty, okay? This could be remorse of you finding out the way they behaved, what they've done. They could feel that all is lost. They've lost everything. And you could be feeling pretty damn good about that. I mean, look at these two energies. You're both sitting in a five. You're feeling quite ruthless at this time, Taurus, fighting to get what you feel is right in a situation. They're sitting in a five of cups. I mean, this is a big challenge between the two of you. Now, of course, this could be energetic, challenging emotions in a situation. This could be actually bashing out the details in a court case. You fighting to get what you want, them feeling, well, yeah, they're going to because this is what I've done. I know what I did was wrong and you're going, yeah, and I'm going to take everything I can out of this. It's a really difficult energy, Taurus, but I do feel that you are going to be getting justice in the situation, whatever that means for you. This could be emotionally getting justice. I know I was right, I stood my ground, and I have fought for what is right. For some of you, this is actually you getting a very big settlement, probably more than you felt that you would get, and you're fighting for this because you feel, well, God, my partner's been unfaithful to me maybe several times, and I felt really trapped in this situation, fearful of standing my ground, and you did. And you will be very successful in that. But this is a difficult energy. Both of you sound in the energy of a five. What you're fearing, Taurus, is a new start. You're fearing a new start. You're fearing information of the internet, maybe, coming through. This could be the result of certain conversations with legalities, a judge, a lawyer. 
With the world, you may be also fearful of having to relocate. Maybe if a connection is ending, a property needs to be sold, someone needs to move out, somebody needs to move to a different area. For some of you, the world is pertaining to a new cycle. Some of you are just scared, even though you're being very strong in this on the outside, inside, you're scared because this means that you've got to move in a completely different direction. And there is always fear of the unknown. What is my life going to look like now? Where am I supposed to be going? Who am I supposed to be connecting with? Are my finances going to be stable? Am I going to be able to support myself? Worried. But you're fighting for this, Taurus. In your hopes, Ace of Cups in reverse. For some of you, you're fighting for the relationship. This is emotional, okay? Rather than you fighting to get justice in a court case for a divorce, for instance. The Ace of Cups is you fighting to keep your person. Harsh words, maybe, yes, I'll forgive you, but if you ever do it again, we are over. We are really over. Ace of Cups is you hoping that your person is going to agree to try and mend the relationship and not be wanting to offer love to anyone else. Hoping that if this was a third party situation, they are not going to be offering love to a third person. In the outcome, Taurus, is the Four of Cups in the reverse. It's a really nice, soft energy. And I think whichever way this goes for you, because I could be connecting with two completely different groups of Taurians out there. Four of Cups in the reverse. For some of you, after a long conversation, after maybe some difficult words, there's a lot of anger, fire energy here, challenging energy. Your partner has said to you, OK, let's reconcile. Let's try and get this back on track. Will you accept my apology? Can we sort this out? For some of you, you would agree to do it, but with conditions, but with conditions. Yes, we'll reconcile. Yes, I'll accept your offer. Yes, we'll do this, but with conditions. So this could be reconciliation, Taurus, in which case you will be successful. You will get justice in a situation after feeling very unbalanced and very nervous about what the future brings. For some of you, you've been in a heartbreaking situation with the Eight of Pentacles, where you felt that relationship was slipping out of your hands. You were losing your partner emotionally. But you will be healing that energy. You will be healing that energy. For some of you, and I feel this is for a different group, with the Seven of Wands in the reverse, this is you deciding to accept defeat. I can't battle with this person anymore. I can't do it. I can't do it. And you will be breaking up a home, okay? This is separation, divorce, moving out of a home, possibly dealing with the sale of a home. Just realising that you can't hang on to this. But if that is the case for you, once this is over, you will be getting justice, okay? And for some of you, you'll be realising that it's broken you free, maybe to move forward and potentially accept love with someone else. Michael's saying, let's move into the deck again. OK, I'm going to clarify the Four of Cups in reverse. All right, so Michael, can we please clarify 
the Four of Cups in reverse. This is you. Sometimes, sorry, for some of you, accepting an offer to reconcile. For some of you, this is you moving forward with someone else. So can we have energies for both different groups of people? First group of people, Michael. For those that feel that this is a relationship they want to fight for and they have justice in reconciling with their person. Okay, so let's see what you've got. Oh, interesting. We have Aries energy again, double Aries here. So we have the Emperor. This is husband, father energy. Okay, this is someone who's taking control of the situation. This could be you, but I'm feeling Taurus. But I'm connecting with, for the majority of you female Tauruses out there, who's dealing with a guy, okay? And the Emperor is potentially your karmic partner, Taurus. And this is someone who was working to be a better husband, a better father, a better partner. Okay, same sex couples, you are potentially taking control of the situation and moving things on to a more stable footing. Yeah, because with the King of Cups, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love here. And you're both realizing it. There is remorse, there is forgiveness, there is you do it again, right? And we are over but you have stood your ground, you're protecting what is yours, whether that's relationship, your house, your kids, whatever this is, and you'll be getting justice. And this is you two getting back on track. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Ten of Pentacles, protecting the family home, your financial security, and trying to relight the fire with your partner. Let's get the passion going again. Let's get the chemistry going again. Okay? Yeah, after someone sneaked out, and did something they shouldn't do. Yeah, this is you relighting that flame between the two of you. Okay? So for those of you who want to reconcile, that's looking good. Now, for those of you who are getting justice in a court case, for instance, ending a marriage, a long-term commitment, and there might have been a property in the mix. What is this all about, please? What is this all about? Oh, okay. I'm hearing I'm keeping the money. I'm keeping the house. Um, okay. just feeling very strong Virgo and Gemini energy um, you will be successful that one okay Michael wow Sorry, guys, these cards are keeping coming out. No, Michael saying no. Okay. So for those of you who were ending a relationship, getting justice somehow, 
All right, Knight of Pentacles, money coming in. Okay, could be divorce settlement. Seven of Pentacles, you're protecting your money. Yes, Queen of Pentacles, strong Taurian energy, beautiful, financially secure. Look at all these Pentacles, wow. Um, Page of Pentacles, sorting out child support. This is also signing the divorce papers for me sometimes. Yes, we have a lawyer, King of Swords, could be also connecting with an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Page of Cups, a message of apology, making sure the kids are okay, maybe. King of Wands in reverse, Aries Leo Sag energy. Someone stepped out, okay. Someone stepped out, we have Leo energy. Somebody was sitting in a bit of ego, maybe about a Pisces or a Cancerian, but the High Priestess is blindfold is off. I see the reality. I know what you've been doing. Yeah, someone here had a lot of fun, put it that way. That led to the ending of a long-term commitment. And you decided, I just have to let this go. And you'll be healing, Taurus, from this. You'll be healing. And you will be rebuilding. Rebuilding with someone else. Rebuilding your financial security. Starting again. Yeah, following, dividing the money. Breaking free. Brand new start. Cutting out the baggage from the past. Some of you will be relocating. Some of you will be messaging someone passionately that you're free. Could be a Scorpio. But this is major change and transformation. And you getting justice. Okay. Wow. Taurus. A very powerful reading. For some of you, um, this is going to be a rather sad ending. But you will be very financially secure. You can start again. You can look to your future. For some of you, there will be reconciliation, okay? If this is your story and you want to find out where this goes for you, do reach out, debraclair.com, details below. Um, and I shall see the rest of you guys next week for your Friday love reading. See you then, people. Take care of you. Bye now.